It's Will, it's Bernie. Wrong movie. <laughs> Notting Hill, you twit. <laughs> <laughs> Which actually, that's my opening question. When did you find out? <laughs> that was great. When did you find out you two were going to work together on this film? Uh, I, well, when, when Paul King, the, the writer, uh, said uh, we are considering, do, do you think Hugh Grant would, would take the joke if we <laughs> sent him a script about a washed up vain actor? I said, try him. <laughs> that's a true story because I, they actually wrote the stories from what I've read. I don't know this if it's true or not. With you in mind, they actually called the character Hugh. Is that true? Yeah, they called it Hugh Grant, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> did they? So they did just went up. Okay, so when you get the script, you read it, you said, and were you quick to well, go? Well, obviously, I was very hurt. Uh, <laughs> but I, to be honest, I needed to work. So uh, I said yes. <laughs> what was it like to, uh, to work together again like this in a, in a film? Well, it was just interesting. It was interesting to me how far uh, Hugh had declined physically as a, as a human being in not that long, really. It's only 19 years. It's 19 years. Because mm -hmm. he used to be quite sort of fierce, and mm -hmm. now he's a mess. Yeah. But then on the other hand, I haven't had the financial resources to do the facial <laughs> reconstruction that Hugh has. Why do we love Paddington so much? Do you, uh, can I tell you a story before we answer that question? Yeah. Do you know that I, in Texas, you know, we make jams and jellies and things like that on our own. People, you know, are really proud of them. I'd never had marmalade till the first movie. Uh, seriously, it's the truth. And mm -hmm. because I love the first one so much, I'm like, I need to try this stuff. So, and I love it. Do you know why it's called marmalade? I have no idea. Do you know why it's called marmalade? Something to do with Marie et Malade. Yes. yes. Which, and is that, who's, was that a... Uh, French queen or something? I think it was, yeah, Queen... Uh, Marie Antoinette. Marie Antoinette. Mary is ill. Marie est malade. So they gave Do you find tonic. me fascinating? <laughs> <laughs> that actually... See, we're learning something today. Yeah. Who would have thought that talking about Paddington the bear, yeah. we're going to learn about that. But why do we love this bear so much? I think it's quite simple. I think it's because we've all been Paddington. Not literally, uh, but we've all been to a, a new school or a new town or a new country and have relied, needed the hand of friendship or had put our trust in strangers. And that's quite scary. And you want to try and fit in. And so I think we all identify with the little bear. But added to that, he's got a great spirit of inquiry and mischief and fun and we want to see the scrapes he gets into. But ultimately, he's got a decent soul. And I think that's, uh, that's uh, a nice thing to spend time with. Do you like playing the villain? Was it fun to play the villain? Uh, it's so liberating and um, good for me, really, because it's the real me. I spent years pretending to be this nice, fluffy Englishman, and uh, the people who know me always used to find that ridiculous, that people thought that was the real me, because no, I'm, no, I, I'm, I'm the counter Paddington. He finds the good in people, and I find the bad. I've already found the bad in you, to be honest. <laughs> Ouch! After I brought you that! <laughs> I'm hurt.